Sure looks cool. Cool? This is Bleeding Edge VR combat training. No one's encountered anything like La Zona Caliente. If our people are going to collect critical data on the parasite, they need the best training possible. Hold on. You did not get to the extraction point in time. In the real hot zone, you will now be encased in stasis form, waiting for someone to rescue you. Another good thing about VR? No stasis form to dissolve when it's over. Like I said, cool. When do I get a try? Um, maybe after lunch. Two days from now. Next! detector is here and ready for action. All REACT departments enact incursion protocols for the safety of our personnel. Concentrated areas of parasite activity are called hot zones. REACT has contained the area within three subzones separated by airlocks. Operators are deployed to the safest area to complete objectives and gather intel. Parasite activity increases after each airlock in line with REACT's directive to limit threat propagation. Operators can exfil at any time at the available extraction point to report new intel to R&D. However, the further you go on an incursion, the better the intel. The parasite ecosystem is sensitive to intrusions. At a certain threshold, it unleashes a massive Archean attack to eliminate the threat. The safety protocol is in effect when it's too risky to send for an extraction platform. Exfil before it's too late. Operators who fail to exfil or are left behind for any reason are considered MIA. A stasis device is activated on MIAs to protect them from the parasite. The next squad deployed to the same hot zone can attempt a rescue. React will do what it takes to bring our people home. You have one target to take down with your React Blade. A sample will be collected at the same time. Use your React Drone to locate your target. Drone deployed. your target. You're getting close to the target.
close at hand. You can now move to the airlock. Survivors hid out in the freezer during the outbreak. We got to them just before the Archies showed up. On occasion, we need you to plan auto trackers on nests so we can monitor them. Locate some nests. That's a nest. If it's dormant, plant an auto tracker. Heartbeat sensor activated. data on the parasite ecosystem. You can head to extraction Reloading. or continue to the next sub zone. The choice is up to you.
Airlock sequence, subzone transition in effect. Finish. Let's run through MIA rescue procedures. I've set up a rescue objective. An MIA operator is trapped in an Archean tree. Find it. I'm dry. I'm reloading. Certain walls and floors can be destroyed, giving you new tactical opportunities. Sensor deployed. There's the Archean tree. Pull the MIA out. You'll see how the tree reacts to your rescue tech. It's resisting. Weaken the Archean tree first, then you can pull the operator out. The parasite is fighting back. Eliminate those anchor points and arc sails, then pull your casualty out of there. that were feeding the tree with energy. Now it's easier to pull the MIA out. Good. Now get the operator to the extraction point. You saved an operator. You're ready to rest. You can take those or you'll miss your ride back to base. That was a good run. Do that in a real incursion and we'll contain the Archean like nobody did. Land. We'll bust them open. Look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Oh. Oh,